squeak yes. it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Hi. Hey. Hey. Uh, welcome back to Wine. Women. And Emma's. Yay. <laughs> what? So once again, I am Tarsha. I'm Tamara. I'm Lindsay. Hi, everybody. So right before we hit the record button, it, we noticed that Lindsay and I both were wearing glasses and uh, we told Tamara that she needed to go and find hers. And what does Tamara say? Uh, I, I haven't had my glasses in a week. And what does Lindsay say? <laughs> You've been driving without them. Uh, and, and then I said, I've been driving without glasses for, for a week. So if you see a huge Toyota, what you got? Uh, Sequoia. Sequoia mm -hmm. coming your way, four door tan, goldish type thing, run and hide. I would. All right, all right. Describe the wine, Lindsay. So this is brought to us by my partner's parents. This is Bull Run. So they stick primarily to Virginia wines, ones that they can, local vineyards that they can go to, um, which is kind of a cool concept um, to kind of support your local farmers. I like that. Um, so this is a Merlot. So um, it's a Meritage red wine. Um, it's going to be strong. It's very earthy very dry robust robust so i like it, it smells amazing it's more my speed than the other twos you twos i like wine um reds give me heartburn but i'm gonna give it a go we'll be back to you tomorrow with heartburn yeah all right let's see what happens cheers i i got a sniffer glass because my bad i'm not classy you know i'll get you a glass i'm sorry <laughs> i had four. Oh, that's good but um I broke it. Two of them. That is, you can taste like the cherry and chocolate the in it. The flavor profile opens up really well in this one, even if it's not your speed. So, since it's had a chance to breathe, breathe. That's a wine word. Like how bougie we are. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Um, still not my speed, but it's a very tasty wine. Yeah. So. All right, ladies. So and, and gentlemen, if you're watching too, but ladies <laughs> or however you identify, we, <laughs> we don't fucking care. It's cool. So today our topic is going to be on self care. This is a topic that we can talk about for hours and days, but today specifically, we're going to talk about our hobbies and what we like to do to uh, take time for ourselves to take care of ourselves, so that we can eventually continue to take care of others. All right, you go first. Me? Yes. Um. So the two things that I like to do, well, the three things that I like to do the most are to read, um, to cook, and to watch movies. Um, oh. I don't, yeah, there was something. Sorry, fell. <laughs> Just kidding. Nobody saw anything. <laughs> um, so I, I do watch TV, but not a whole lot. I would actually rather read a book than watch TV. I do read a little bit of everything, um, rom-coms. <laughs> Uh, mysteries, thrillers. I don't like scary stuff. And it's the same for my movies. I don't like scary movies. So Saw and all that other stuff, no, I'm good with that. But the the, the <laughs> thrillers and things, you know, trying to catch the person who's getting ready to blow up a train or, you know, wanting to have a good hearty laugh or a good sob like The Notebook, things like that. Thanks. Yeah. Um... I will be the first to admit I have not done good self-care last year. I failed. F. Big F. Um, but I've started up again. Um, my ways have been running. Um, I need physical exercise. I need to pound the ground. I need to be at the gym, hitting the weights, sweating, looking gross. Um, that's how I vent. Um, I've been really bad about it, but I'm getting back into it. Um, and it's not just because, you know, I'm vain, because I totally am, but... It, it, mentally, I'm a different person when I work out. Um, and the other thing is I like to read. Um, but I like to read, like, TED Talk type stuff. Like, oh. obnoxious. Are you walking us to your TED Talk? I will always hear TED Talk. I am Lindsay, and this is my TED Talk. <laughs> um, I actually like a lot of them about female empowerment. Um, I am an obnoxious feminist to the end started with you know, just always being me and then you know a women's studies class that just spurred me on in college and from there it has just been ooh yeah okay so what do you do okay <laughs> don't make me 
thank you. Um, <laughs> so, as you can tell, I don't work out. Um, you, I, you can't tell that I used to. I look horrible. <laughs> so my uh, self care is actually dancing. Um, I had a quarter life crisis. I like to call it a quarter life crisis because um, it started around 24. Um, after I had, so actually 25, 25 and a half ish. Um, after I had my daughter and was like, I'm gonna make her a little ballerina and I'm gonna sign her up for dance class. And then somehow I got sucked into, um, into the adult dance uh, section. Yeah. Um, and that has, uh, tornadoed into competition dance, um, as well. So I, um, I spent a lot of hours in a dance studio and, um, you know, pounded out, putting tap in ballet and contemporary and jazz, uh, jazz stuff out. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's a, it's a great workout. It has been tough over the last, um, few months because not only is, do you have just the, like the dance, but you miss the social aspect of like being with people. I'm a loner. Uh, so it's been well. So it's been tough for me. So uh, I actually had to do a um, smarter measure assessment for um, my class because I'm doing online classes. So it uh, asks you a bunch of questions to see how prepared you are to do online studies, mm -hmm. and mine came out <laughs> completely solitary. <laughs> Oh, like, I, oh, no. I was like, oh, that sounds that sounds about right. Like I tell people all the time, I was like, I think I've peopled too much today. You so. people too much. Yes. So, yeah. and this is something I've learned um, just over time. It just growing older because I'm old. Um, you know, we're when, older than her. <laughs> when yeah. you when you first start out in EMS, you think you have to eat, breathe, drink it, and you do. You you do. I did. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty yeah, sure everybody does. Me. And then you get burnout, and then you go through a burnout stage. And then you find your balance where you have you and your personal life and then work life. Okay. And everybody kind of goes through that at their own pace. Um, but everybody drinks the juice in the beginning. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's how we fill volu volley trucks. <laughs> Otherwise, there wouldn't be volunteer trucks yes. um, and volley squads. But um, it's just kind of learning, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Me and Tarsha, we tend to recharge on our own. We need alone time. So me, I want to do an alone sport, running. I don't want you to run with me. I want to go to the gym by myself and put my music in. Um, she wants to read her book. And Reading is so solitary. Yeah. I love it. Um, so that's how we recharge. You recharge socially. Right. And there's nothing wrong, right, and different. It's just if you don't investigate yourself to know what you need, you will get burned out, and they will burn you on this field yeah. in a heartbeat. Because if you give them the hours, they'll take them. Yeah. Because there's always a need. There's always need. So the most important thing that we want to get across to you today is to just find that one thing that um, helps you to recharge and that helps you actually go back to enjoying doing whatever it is that you do. Your so, job, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. So you can do that hobby. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes. That's called being an adult. I don't know how expensive running is, oh, but I can shoes. tell you what. Oh, <laughs> shoes. Dance. Sucks. <laughs> it's expensive. So running seems cheaper, but when you start running, like like right now, I'm just running like a couple miles because I'm getting back into it. It's no big deal. But when I start running 15 miles a day, I burn through shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like $200 a piece. And you want to get good shoes because you want to support your knees and all that yeah. other stuff. So, and then of course, once you get like skinny again, you're like, oh, I need this leggings and I need these leggings for running. No one's looking at you. It's the middle of the night when you're running. See, my hobby, is, my hobby can be expensive. Or cheap because I can either go to the bookstore, which I love going to the bookstore and like smelling the books. You know what I mean? Like, like just that aroma. Now, you go to, like, and the then when you go to the used, thrift, <gasps> used bookstore or go to the thrift store, then you can find yes. books for really cheap. But just that, just the feel of the paper in your hands and everything. So. Uh, dance shoes are expensive. Yes, yes, they um, are. Do not envy you that. Uh, but that's also is dance shoes are kind of like running shoes where you have to find the. The one or the thing that works for you. Um, I always get funny looks because people are like, "You dance," and I'm like, "Yep, I'm, I'm 250 pounds of shashays across the floor." <laughs> hashtag Thick Chicks Dance Too. Yeah, that's my hashtag. I like the hashtag. Uh -huh. I've not seen that. That's um, so, uh, yeah. So I think 
um, the most important thing is, like we discussed, just, just make sure you take some time to take care of yourself. Be able to separate yourself from the job. Yes. Have your downtime that you need. Yep. And um, investigate and work on yourself and have self-care. Because you can't care for anybody else if you, you don't care, care for yourself. yourself. So, thanks for joining us today, guys. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And like and comment. And if you have anything that you want to discuss, if you want to join us on the couch or at the table, uh, just email us at wanmedic1 at gmail.com. And we look forward to hearing from you guys. Right, Thank bye you. Bye, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.